出国那个什么就有农山戏嘛。Mr. Speaker, sir, at the very outset, I would like to thank the honourable member of this August House who has brought forth this、uh, zero-hour notice on the news item which appeared in the Kasi Daily newspaper, Umapor, dated 19th October 2020. Under the caption "Tour Pait Pait Ba Kinong Kolkata Shah Megalai House," Mr. Speaker, sir, it was reported that on 13th of October 2020, a demonstration was staged in front of Megalai House, Kasba, Kolkata, by an organisation under the banner of Molded and Minority Development Council, comprising about 50 persons, including both men and women, from the Bengali community. It was reported that the demonstrators shouted slogans and displayed banners condemning the alleged atrocities against the minority communities in Meghalaya, and also regarding the alleged discrimination against non-indigenous community in Ishamati and Bolaganj area. The West Bengal police, who were present at the spot, did not allow them to enter into the premises. However, they were followed to demonstrate. They were allowed to demonstrate. Outside the gate of Megala House, only three to four representatives were permitted to enter the office, and submitted a memorandum through the Megala House, which was addressed to the Chief Minister, citing the allegations of discrimination against the non-indigenous population. The demonstration ended peacefully after about 45 minutes. Prior to this, also. Three demonstrations were staged on the 6th of March 2020 by Amra Bangali, on 11th of March 2020 by Jatiyo Bangla Sammelan, and on 3rd of October 2020 again by Amra Bangali. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is important. It is important to point out that the current imbroglio, which has been surfacing in the print and electronic media. As well as in social media platforms, is primarily an outcome of the unfortunate incident which happened on the 28th of February 2020. The Kasi Students Union had organised a program opposing the Citizen Amendment Act 2019 at Ishamati, and soon after the program, a clash took place between the KSU members and non-tribals at Ishamati. In which some KSU activists from Sora, Shela, and other adjoining areas sustained injuries, and one KSU activist, namely late Lurshai Hinuta, age 35, a resident of Kleshnong, Sora, succumbed to his injuries. So, in this connection, a case was registered by Shela PS. Case number zero nine bracket zero two twenty twenty U slash S one forty eight slash three twenty six slash five zero six slash three zero seven slash three zero two slash thirty four IPC and section three of PDPP Act. Twenty four persons were arrested. And the case has since been charge sheeted against 70 persons. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Ishamati incident had law and order repercussions in Shillong, as tensions escalated, resulting in the stabbing incident in Yodo, in which one member of the non-tribal community lost his life. In this case, two persons were arrested, and the case has been charge sheeted. With the timely intervention of the district administration and the police department, the situation was controlled to a large extent, and normalcy in Ishamati, Shillong, and adjoining areas were restored. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the aftermath of these tragic incidents, several memorandums by different organisations addressed to the Honourable Prime Minister of India. The Honourable Governor of Meghalaya, the Honourable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, and other dignitaries, highlighting the alleged harassment 
faced by the Bengali community in Ishamati and Bolaganj area and other places of Meghalaya were submitted. Mr. Speaker, sir, on inquiry, on an inquiry, an inquiry was also initiated based on the direction of the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, New Delhi, as the Commission had taken cognizance of the allegations of institutionalized harassment of women and children in Ishamati and adjoining areas of East Khasi Hills District of Meghalaya. The Deputy Commissioner, East Khasi Hills, ordered the District Child Protection Committee to hold the inquiry and joint inspection. The inquiry was conducted by taking into confidence the residents of the area and ample opportunities were accorded to the residents to shed light on the allegations of discrimination, harassment and on completion of the inquiry, the report was sent to the National Commission for Protection of Child, Child Rights, New Delhi. Mr. Speaker, sir, a brief summary of the findings of the report are as follows. Number one, the report found that there, was, that there are no cases of harassment faced by the residents of Ishamati, particularly women and children. Number two, there is economic hardship faced by the local residents due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as due to non-renewal of trading licenses by KJDC. The Deputy Commissioner, East Khasi Hills, as well as the District Council Affairs Department, have taken up the matter of non-renewal of trading license with the East Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council. In view of various statements emanating from different organizations within and outside the state, which have the potential to aggravate matters, the Honorable Home Minister had issued a statement dated 22nd October 2020, in which he had appealed to all organizations, both from within and outside the state, to desist, desist from making statements that may have the potential to disrupt peace and harmony in the state. The Deputy Commissioner, East Khasi Hills, has also taken steps to convene an interfaith meeting to bring about mutual respect, understanding and cooperation among various communities. This has gone a long way in building trust and ensuring peaceful relations between communities. So I would also like to mention that uh, when these situations happened, the government at an official level and also at my personal level, we have been communicating directly with the government of West Bengal to ensure that security was provided to Meghalaya House whenever such incidents happened. At the same time, at my level, communication has also been done to different political leaders to ensure that there are no statements that are given in an irresponsible manner by any individual. So at the same time, the suggestions and the points that the Honourable Member has put in, I have noted that down and definitely the Government will examine the suggestions given by the Honourable Member. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, sir, I once again take this opportunity to urge all citizens of the state belonging to all communities to uphold the long tradition of peace and harmony that has existed in our state. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.